Hey guys, this is your friend Mainag from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel another video on Tecla Structural Designer. So friends, all of you know about our record session. So it is one of our doubts of the students of our record session that some of the pad bases which uh, he has designed are failing. So we are here to find a solution for that. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So in the pad foundations, we have a warning of development length, which we have in the case of the IS code. So we don't have to worry about that. We already had made videos on this topic. So now we have to resolve the particular sections which are failing. So we'll resolve that. First of all, let's go to the foundations and let's just check the settings. Whatever changes we can do here, we'll do that. So in the settings, we have the minimum loose bar size of, first of all, we'll change the grade to FE500 and the minimum loose bar size will do this as 12 and the maximum loose bar size let's do this every 500 first and if let's say if you want to use 12 mm bars only let's okay minimum clear spacing 100 it's okay let's go for the maximum clear spacing of 200 along both we can do uh, 150 as well but let's go for 200 for now so if you go for 200 and then just click on okay and then after clicking on here the model will uh, save itself and now we'll just check the design once again now as you can see here we'll just go to the structure view or else you can go to the foundation view as we only need the foundation right now so we'll go to the levels here and we'll just go open the foundation view because right now we're concerned only with the foundation so uh, let's go to design pad bases. So it will take some time to design the pad bases. So now one uh, we can see the columns which have uh, which are red in color that is which have failed. One by one we'll solve all the uh, queries here. So this this uh, this column let's see as you can see here if you can check isolated pace putting one to five zero one to five zero depth is uh, three hundred. So static it's failing but as you can see the ratio is 0.97. So the ratio is not uh, more than one means it's not failing in shear bearing it's not failing in the bearing capacity it's failing for some other reason uh, probably due to some checks so let's check it and then we can redesign again and to fulfill that so as you can see for the bearing capacity is it's passed so there is no uh, error here so maximum bar spacing in y direction so it's it's showing that maximum bar spacing in y direction is you know uh, and maximum bar spacing in x direction also we have given 200 so it has taken 300 so that's why there is some uh, error so let's close this and first of all we'll just right click on it and then re check the report for the member so that we can understand what is the spacing which has been given so as you can see here this are the combinations and this is the particular depth given here and the spacing given here is uh, 225 so mean maximum spacing is given 200 so there's they 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 are they are have they have designed for 225 so that's why they are uh, you know it's uh, it was asking uh, showing as failed so what we can do is we can uh, just allow this and then uh, it will it will pass so just go to this particular level of the foundation and then just click on escape and then we'll go to the foundation so one by one you have to solve this actually it will take some time it will end patience also in uh, solving everything so we'll go to settings and then but uh, it, there, there is a thing when you'll gain some experience then you can you know uh, do these things automatically even without changing the settings you can uh, assume that these are the things which you need so let's do this as let's say 250 for now 250 and then click on ok and then uh, let's design the foundations once again design pad bases so now you can check this uh, this particular footing has passed so this particular problem has been solved so let's check this one what is the difficulty here so as you can see this is 1.1 to two so it's clearly failing by shear so here 
what we can do is we can increase the size it's very solution is very simple we can increase the size because it's filling by shear it will increase the bearing capacity so here when we click on it in the properties we can increase the various dimensions of it and also we'll just go to length in x direction that is uh, 2100 so let's do this as 2200 and this one also let's do this as 2200 after doing this we'll just go to right click on it and then design member so it's still failing in the sharing capacity let's see uh, by how much it's failing so in one particular load combination only it's failing so it, it has reduced it it was 1.2 earlier so it is 1.115 so if we just can further increase it because there, there is some space available 2300 0, 0. and here also 2300 0, 0. and then and then we can right click on it and then check design member so now also let's see the ratio how much it has gone it has gone below to 1.106 so it is it is it is reducing slowly so let's make this as 2500 and 2500 the depth also let's increase it to 450 and then check design member so now it's passing so if, if you can see if we have the bearing capacity the ratio so it's okay here now now after doing this we can check the remaining uh, footing here one by one so like this we need to solve we can solve uh, all the footings let's solve some major uh, issues here so let's check what is the area right click on it and uh, then check member it's failing in bearing capacity so bearing capacity if it's failing uh, now let's what we should do let's make this 1800 1800 and then right click and then then uh, go to so as you can see it was 1.014 earlier let's see uh, how much it is right now check member so now it's passing in bearing capacity so right now it's 0 0.978 it's passing right now so like this you can change now this particular footing if you want to check this wh why it is failing as you can see this is a uh, 0 0.720 so if it is 0 0.720 so it is not failing in bearing capacity it is failing due to some other reason so let's check uh, why is it failing and then we can you know have a solution so limiting parameters bottom maximum allowed reinforcement area let's re try to reduce the maximum reinforcement area by increasing the size of it little bit 2600 2600 and here also 2600 and then right click on it and then design member still it's let's go to the settings here and we can increase the size to the 16 mm let's see if, the, if we have any changes here just click on ok then right click on it and then design member okay so now if you just increase the size the maximum allowed uh, the less number of uh, reinforcement will be used so the number of reinforcement uh, overall reinforcement will decrease that is the number of overall area which is covered by the reinforcement will decrease that will make this as pass so now we have to allow 16 mm reinforcement in this case okay so like this we we can find the solution to every problem i hope we have covered all the problems if it's maximum allowable reinforcement area we can increase the diameter of the reinforcement point number one point number two if it's failing by shear we can increase the size and point number three if it's if it's still not uh, passing in uh, shear the or bearing capacity even after increasing the size we can increase the depth so these are the three points which you can check and first of all you can reduce the spacing to 250 for both the main principal bars and the secondary bars so uh, if you follow this procedure then we can 
one by one make all this particular footings safe so hope you found this video useful very happy sunday to all of you bye bye